the FBI uh, is uh, in Haiti. Uh, they have the lead on this case, uh, but they have the resources of the whole of government in, in support. Um, there is no higher priority than the safety and security of American citizens overseas, and sadly, Haiti has seen uh, far too many kidnappings of American citizens and American legal permanent residents over the course of the last year. Um, nevertheless, um, I'm hopeful that this situation will be resolved, but because of operational security reasons, I can't go into greater detail about uh, the status of, of this case. There are elements of the crime that um, took place in the United States. I mean, we know that phone calls happened. We know that there were um, some people who um, have a U.S. nexus. And for crimes that take place within the United States, the Department of Justice has the lead in um, the investigation, uh, along with U.S. Attorney's offices, obviously. Uh, but the crime itself occurred in Haiti, and um, we want to make sure that uh, our law enforcement is sharing information and cooperating on what they're finding in the U.S. investigation with what uh, is occurring in Haiti. Um, the, uh, there are also elements that uh, uh, involve persons that are in third countries, uh, and uh, there's cooperation with the governments of those countries. Um, you know, Colombia is the most prominent one, uh, but there are others. Uh, it's crucial to bring those responsible to justice. This heinous crime uh, is an affront to the Haitian people. And whatever your political views in Haiti, uh, I know that all Haitians um, want their leaders uh, and their people to be safe. Uh, and uh, I expect that the international law enforcement community uh, will continue to be united in supporting Haiti and achieving that goal.